Hello, congratulations on season two of this show. Thank you. I appreciate it. The season looked cold. Were you freezing while shooting this? Looks, uh, looks can be deceiving because... Oh, really? Yeah, it was sod, sod's law. It was an Irish heat wave uh, in the summer that we were filming it. So those clear oh. blue skies that look like a crisp winter's morning are actually like a, a sizzling hot summer's day. Sam and I definitely sweated, sweated our way down the, the Niagara <laughs> River. Yeah, a lot of sweating and almost uh, on the verge of fainting blackout uh, moments. Oh, wow. Yeah. That does not translate. It looks like it was freezing. So <laughs> great job to the crew you, and to you guys you. on that. <laughs> so Sam, I have to say, I haven't thought about Vikings or Leif Erikson since like high school. The name sounded vaguely familiar. But, you know, I mean, how much did you know about Vikings before doing this? I remember in high school in year 10, sitting in Mr. Gill's class, learning about <laughs> Leif Erikson. And that's where I think that was like one of the only A's I got in year 10 was for Vikings history. Um, Frida, what's the most interesting thing you learned? Well, I'm I'm Swedish, so Viking culture is a big part of our heritage. I mean, from when you start year one, you learn how to write your name in rune language in the Futark. And, you know, where I grew up, there's rune stones and there's, you know... So for me, like, that was a big part of growing up. I mean, my dad's name is Leif. My brother's name is Eric, you know, like Eric the Red, our father. Yeah. So that was a huge part of, you know, growing up. And... Um, I really wanted to honor the Viking women. I mean, uh, as, a, as a feminist and coming from Sweden, I, I felt it was important that we take the Viking women out from the shadows and put them center stage because they were so incredible. I mean, they had all these opportunities that women today struggle to get all around the world. I mean, they could marry whoever they wanted. They could divorce. They could have property. They could be jarls. I mean, they could have their own kingdoms. And then the Christians came and kind of uh, put women in the back. And um, I'm really proud that I get to play this really amazing female character. I think what's so impressive about um, this show is how detailed and how close to history it really is. Do you know anything about the, the research process and creating these stories? Well, um, mm -hmm. I think there's historical advisors who Jeb is yeah. in consultation with. And certainly this second season, there's in the sagas about Harald Hardrada, we know that he spent time in, in the Kievan Rus and that he had to go through water rapids and avoid passion eggs. And we see all of that in the series. But I think what's, what's so cool about a historical show is it brings, brings history to life. Well, you did a great job. Thank you so much for your time. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye. Bye.